St. Louis police now say someone started a raging fire at an historic business on purpose. Police released pictures of a suspect holding a gas can near the scene. Fox 2's Andy Banker has the photos and an inspiring update on the business and a story only on Fox. It's been nearly three weeks now since the fire at Shapiro Metal Supply, and we've learned a lot in that time. Police now say it was an arson. The suspect, who remains at large, was caught on camera with a gas can. And this business is resilient. We're open, we never missed a beat. Five generations and nearly 120 years after it all started, it takes more than a fire to take out Shapiro Metal Supply. Is this your office? This was That's my office. Desk? That's my desk. Sam Shapiro and his son reopened the day of the fire with their business office in shambles and keepsakes from the company's hot rod car shows to benefit military veterans ruined. Police are still posted outside as the search for the suspect continues. Here he is with a gas can as the overnight fire erupted. Police believe the suspect is a former employee who was fired hours earlier after brandishing a gun on the job. He said nobody's going to have a job here real soon. He couldn't have been more wrong because he didn't know who he was dealing with. And there's a lot of things going on in this world today. And you got to be strong and you got to perse persevere and you got to go. The company's vast inventory remains intact and the close to 30 employees and loyal customers have continued to keep things going, even with no phone service at first. We wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for our employees, so thank you to everybody that's helped us through this and really stuck it out with us and uh, made everything right. That especially goes for St. Louis firefighters and police who are still working the case, still looking for a suspect. The Shapiro's hope will hear about the reopening of their office in prison. We're going to rebuild and we're going to be stronger than ever. In North St. Louis, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.